We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Black Series review again. A little bit late to the party on this one, but that's uh, that's just the way cookie crumbles. Sometimes down here in Australia, we get things early. Sometimes we get them a little bit late. We're talking about the two-pack from Star Wars Ahsoka. Kind of. You know, a little bit of... A little bit of artistic license with the uh, the branding of the packaging here, but it works. Um, yeah, the Phase 1 Clone Trooper Lieutenant and the 332nd Clone Trooper. So, yeah, we've all talked about these, um, these sort of Phase 3, I think they're calling them. Phase 3 of the mold of Clone Trooper. This is the third sort of big Clone Trooper. Overdue, overdue. Um, do over <laughs> since Black Series inception, and uh, yeah, by far, by far the best. So why not start putting some more clones out? We are going to see plenty more, um, and yeah, really blown away by by the clone sculpts themselves. So we're going to take a look at these two. Nice to see another variation of the Phase One, and you know, a fresh update on the three thirty second. I do have a couple of those already that were released part of the Clone Wars a couple of years back. Um, but yeah, third one will fit in nicely. The little bio on the back there. Cool artwork. So without further ado, let's bust these open and take a look. All right, folks, here are the two troopers out of the packaging. And yeah, there's obviously the, the slight little complaint that I've heard people have had with particularly the figure on the left. It's not truly uh, the lieutenant just because of a couple of markings. It's more more so like a Phase One Five Hundred First, but that's neither here here nor there. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison with the original Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Um, I have him sitting right beside me, but we're going to take a look at these figures. Um, accessory wise, they each come with the same same pairing of guns. We've got the rifle there, nice solid plastic. No extra sort of paint details on these ones. They're just sort of that sort of grey-brown sort of colour. So we'll just move them aside. They're fine. And yeah, this will probably end up being a slightly quick review just because, you know, there's not a lot of new stuff to talk about with these guys except for the, the paint details. But we'll go through articulation and all that as well. So I like the... Uh, I like the markings of the blue and the sort of the scratches and the weathering just on his arms with this figure. They hadn't gone all the way crazy yet at this stage. Phase one. I think I'm itching. I think we're getting very itchy for a phase one Captain Rex. I think that would be just incredible. So I'm just going to move this one out of the way just so the camera doesn't decide to focus. Yeah, using the same head sculpt, which is fine, they're clones, it's all good. Let's say start doing like individual Clone Wars phase one characters like Gree, who's got a double mohawk and and stuff like that. It's all good. They can use the same same sort of head for everyone. It's fine. So let's get the helmet on him, shall we? There you go, nice, nice snug fit. Paint's pretty good on this one, which is nice. Nice and crisp. I do love the attention to detail with this tiny little red indicator light on the back of the on the back of the fin there. Yeah, it looks nice. I, I just love the blue. Such a nice, rich blue. They've just, in the past, they just haven't quite gotten the blue right. Um, but I feel like this time they do. It's pretty solid. I like the double trigger fingers that the clones are getting these days too. That's always nice. But yeah, I do have two of the plain phase ones to go along with this guy. So yeah, I'm going to start retiring my older phase ones. Hopefully they do sort of bring bring more out. These are just super super superior. In my initial phase one clone review, 
I did sort of go do a bit of a comparison to the older versions. Um, articulation wise, ball jointed head. Uh, yeah, ball socket head, ball joint in the bottom of the neck. We've got ball hinges in the elbows with the butterfly joint. We have an upper arm swivel there. We've got a nice bend in the elbow. We've got uh, swivels in the wrists, hinge in the wrist there as well. And this hinge goes up and down. We've got the torso joint. We have ball and sockets in the hips. Swivels at the top of the thigh there behind the armor. And we have that knee joint which gets good bend on it, good angles. And having that sort of knee plate sort of freed up allows you know allows you to sort of get it out of the way and do what you need to do. Uh, there is a ball hinge in the ankles and a rocker in the feet. So yes, pretty good. Pretty good. Now before we get on to the 332nd, because let's be let's face it, it's just not too much more to show you, except for the different helmet. Let's talk about this. Uh, this is the original Phase 1 Lieutenant. And, yeah, as you can see, this one was always good. Um, yeah, now that they've done this one, it really doesn't hold a candle to it <laughs> at all. Um, but, yeah, those sort of four markings on the chest there, the dots, that's kind of, that's kind of what people are sort of talking about. Um, that's really the difference... The rest of it, all the markings in the right spot. Everything else is fine. Although, noticing on the top of the helmets there, that sort of grey there, and that was blue. Don't know which one's inaccurate. It doesn't really matter. Not a big, big deal. Not a big deal, is it? Big deal. Yeah, maybe a little bit more extenuated on the blue, the sort of lines around the visor on the old one. A little bit more sort of paint chipping and, and detailing on that one. But that's fine. Looks good. So yeah, if you really wanted to have an accurate lieutenant, you could get a little, if you were, you know, very steady of hand, you could put your four dots on that one. I'm not going to worry, it's not, not a big, big deal to me. So, let's move this guy out of the way. Let's have a look at Mr. Mr. 332. Again, sort of similar. He's got the leg stripes, the blue stripes on the legs there. The blue part at the bottom of the knee pads. A slight sort of blue band around the end of the wrist there. Which is something I don't think I've ever noticed. Obviously blue shoulder pauldrons and then the the sort of 501st marking there on the chest. We've got a couple of little blue markings on the back there on the canister. I don't know if this one did. No. So they didn't paint it on that one, just on this 332nd. So a nice little bit of extra detail there. And uh, yeah, the helmets. This is nice and clean. You know, a lot of people sort of complained about the first iteration of the 332nd. They kind of they said, oh, it looks like it's just painted on. And it's like, well, yeah, exactly. That's kind of part of it. So this sort of duplicated that a little bit. Um, you can sort of see there's like paint running and stuff. Nice and different sort of scratch marks. Still doesn't have the black band around the brim. So it is it is sort of Clone Wars accurate. They didn't do that in the Clone Wars. Let's get it on the head. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, he was slot in perfectly beside the other two, I think. The older 330 seconds. But yeah, he looks good. Yeah, just, I think it's time for, definitely time for a new Captain Rex. Phase 1 and 2, I think. Phase 2 you definitely do with an upgrade. Phase 1 would just be a nice, nice bonus. But I don't know, this is a cool figure pack, man. I just, you know, I 
Grizzling wasn't too sort of worried about getting all the clones and all these packs, but you know, these clones are good figures, man. I would just, I'm really, really digging these clones. I just want to get them armed up so I can display them so I can finish the video. So it went through the articulation. Let's do a little bit of a peg test before we go. Got our case for run stand here. It should go on. Let's see if they go on the little peg. Nah, it needs to go on the big peg. Nice and tight there. Nice and snuggly. And that's not going anywhere. To get them running. There we go. I mean, I could work a little bit harder on the pose, but it is. A little bit of counterbalance, you can get that perfect. There we go. All right, folks, thank you very much for checking this out. I'll leave a link at the end of the video for my initial sort of phase one, where I do a little bit more of a comparison with the old ones. If you, have if, if you have indeed gotten this far in the video, I do appreciate your time. You're awesome. And I love you long time. See you next time, folks. May the force be with you always. Yeah. <laughs>